how can we make a point system or a, a cash system maybe in Roblox Studio? So let's say you have a game and you want to add like cash to it so people can collect cash or something or coins as some uh, some may call it. We're going to be doing that in Roblox Studio. So let's get started with a script, a service script service, a service script. Inside the script, we're going to make a player added event game that players that player added connect this to a function colon connect function and player as a parameter all right second last uh, bracket and you press enter and then we can make the leader stats so in order to do that we'll do local leader stats this will appear on our player list equals instance dot new folder this will make a new folder leader stats dot name equal leader stats make sure you name it leader stats and you type it correctly all right leader stats dot parent equals player the player that joined okay now we made a leader stats folder this will hold all our statistics for now we're gonna only make one and that is the coins value or points or whatever you want to call it all right now let's say local coins equal instant dot new number value so this will be our amount of coins we're going to make a new number value and coins dot name equals coins you can name this whatever you want coins I mean, it's essentially going to be uh, nil, so that would be zero. So you don't really have to uh, make a value for it. Uh, then you can do coins parent equal leader stats. So this will be under our leader stats folder where it holds all our st uh, our stats. Yeah, all stats. All right. Now we made the coins value. And first, let's test this out. Let's see how this works. All right. So let's go on play. And let's see how it shows on the game. All right. So as you can see, our coins can be shown on the player list. So this is basically uh, the leader stats thing. That's, that's what leader stats uh, can do. Now, let's say you want to add coins. So you add coins in the map uh, that players can collect. And every time they collect a coin, their coins value or their amount of coins goes up by one. So let's insert a, a cylinder. Okay, this is a cylinder. Let's make it into a coin. We're gonna make it like very basic, so you don't have to, you know, uh, spend too much time on this. Let's make it anchored and can collide equals false. Let's make it a golden color. Okay, and maybe uh, make it actually. I'll forget about it. So let's say this is a coin, right? And we want we want it to give the player who touched it uh, one coin. So whenever our player touches it, we want uh, the player to uh, gain one coin in their leader stats. So let's name this coin. Let's enter a script. Okay, so this script will be, uh, first we want a local, actually, hold on, yeah, whatever. So we're, we're going to make a touched event. So first local uh, local coin equals script apparent. Oops, script apparent. This is the coin. Coin dot touched, which is an event. Connect function. And the parameter will be hit, so who, or whatever hit the coin, or basically whatever touched the coin. So then we're going to do local player equals. Oops, I okay, forget about this. Local player equals game dot players and colon get player from character hit dot parent. So what this does, it gets the player. From, uh, well, I mean, gets the player from the character. So whenever uh, 
like a part of a character hit uh, touches the coin, it, uh, it will get the player from uh, the character that touches it. And if it is a player, so it detects if it's a player. So if player, that means if a player touched it, then we are going to give the player a coin. So player dot leader stats dot coins dot value equals copy this. Oops, what the hell? That was wrong. Hold on a second, I think I did this. Okay, sorry. Right here. Plus one. Oops, plus one. All right. I think this is pretty simple. Now, when a player touches it, uh, as soon as they get the coin, you want the coin to uh, disappear, right? You want the coin to go away because you don't want you, want, you don't want, you don't want the coin to, you know, stay there, right? So you want the coin to uh, basically disappear. We'll just do coin. Oops, not color three. Coin destroy. All right. So we gave the player a coin. What you can also do instead of this, maybe this is too long, maybe you don't want to keep on copying and pasting, you can do uh, plus equals one. So it gives one to the amount, to the value of the coins, which is basically the amount of coins, essentially. All right. So I think this is, this is uh, perfectly, okay. Let's test this out. Let's see if it works. Okay, I put a, a long wave. All right. Let's touch this beautiful coin. Boom. The coin disappears and we've got ourselves a coin. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you want more, uh, comment down what you want next and make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, uh, I won't make any more videos. All right. You heard that? All right. So you better subscribe or else I'll kill myself. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs>